it's so funny how everything has played out in life, how I've really sprouted into this, this personality in LA at such a young age and meeting everybody. Growing up was not easy for me. I had so many people that called me gay, faggot, the whole nine yards, but that, that has never stopped me at all. And it still, it doesn't break me or make me. Growing up, I was always so different in my family, from my brothers to my sisters and my mom and everything. Everyone wanted me to be that football player or whatever. And I was always so interested in playing with Barbies and makeup and hair and dressing up and styling my family. I used to play dress up with my little cousins and like I would dress all the girls up in high heels and do their hair and makeup. So it's fun like always having this creative vision and being five years old, seven years old having this creative vision and thinking like, oh my God, one day I'm gonna be in LA and one day I'm gonna be doing all this or one day I'm gonna be working for Vogue or you know, one day I'm gonna be an intern for top fashion and styling or whatever the case was, you know, I feel like I'm, I've built my way almost there and I'm still working towards it. I feel like I live life in between genders and you know, some people can take take it into like oh he's gay he's a tranny he's transgendered he's this he's that but when it comes to my vision of it I see it as a work of art you know like playing up the pretty side and as people would call it just androgynous I love the androgyny and things and I think that's why I've been able to accomplish and have so many opportunities within like photo shoots and collaborations is because there's not many that like focus on androgyny and like still wanting to be the guy but still wanting to lean towards them like feminine side so um i guess my fashion can really confuse others and unless you really know me because whether i'm wearing heels or wearing flats or wearing a suit you know it's all just fashion and it's all just a game and why not be a gender bender and why not be androgynous and if you're pretty own it that's confidence rules this world and like it will, i'll say it to the death of me I'm Charles Dimitri and this has really just been a big ass ride, you know, coming from a small town to a big city. Um, I feel like I've done so much already and I'm not even there yet. There's still so much um, progress and accomplishments to be made and baby, this is only the beginning.